I want to make a simple web page for generating UUIDs. So first thing is I'm going to just create another page. So the URL would basically be like skies.dev slash tools slash UUID. And so I'll do UUID and make a TypeScript JSX file. So this is a GitHub Copilot suggesting like the whole page, which I'm gonna do that. Like this seems totally fine. And let's jump over to our new page tools slash UUID. GitHub Copilot is really good at auto-completing, but it's not great yet at like figuring out your imports for you yet. I know I have UUID installed, but let me just double check. Yeah, types, yeah, here's UUID. So let me see, UUID. Oh, maybe it's like V4, add import, there we go. All right, so uh, UUID generator, so that's our title, and then we have a button here which generates the UUID, and there it is. So I really want, by default, it to generate the UUID, so I'm gonna say V4. We can just pass in the function itself. We don't actually have to like invoke the function. We can just pass in the reference to the function, so we'll do that. Oh, okay, all right, so the text content does not match server rendered HTML, so this is because Next.js or this is not really a Next.js thing, but it's more of a React 18 thing where they want the, when you server render it, and then when you client side render it, the HTML should match. And since we are doing this v4 on the server, it's not gonna match. So what we want to do instead is make this a empty string, that's fine. And then what we want is a use effect. And once this mounts, then we can set the UUID to V4. Maybe I would want to use this in my use effect hook, and this is a little fun trick. I'm just gonna pass and generate UUID. All right, so when I start this, it generates the UUID, and now the initial HTML is gonna be the same on the server and the client, because on the server, um, it's gonna be an empty string and also on the client, it's gonna be an empty string and then only after it mounts, it will generate the UID. So what I want instead of a input, sorry, <laughs> what I want instead of a paragraph is an input, a read only, Let's see what that looks like. Oh, and then, yep, it's a self-closing tag. And then I want the value to be the UID. So I also want it when you click the input, I want it to highlight all of the text. So highlight text focus input. And then let me figure out how to do that. Is all I have to do is on click this dot select and it, and it works. Does that really work? Let me clarify. I want to like look at react here. So let's see handle focus. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is what we, what we want here. So I'm going to actually define this function outside of the component because there's this function is not going to depend on the state of the component. It's just a event that is always going to be the same. Essentially what I want here is the handle focus. So HTML input element, and then we'll say current target. This seems like it's working the way I want it to. When you click it, I want it to highlight it all because I want it to be very easy to copy this. What I also want to do is have a little copy button and then I'm gonna uh, just say button, have some screen reader only text and copy UUID. And then I'm going to have a little copy button, a little copy icon, I should say, and we'll go to hero icons because that's the library that I'm using. Let's see, what do we want to use as our copy? I guess the clipboard is, is, is what we want here. So we'll say clipboard, clipboard icon. Yeah, we'll do the outline and it should be good. And then we'll uh, put some classes in there and I'm gonna say uh, H5 with five. That looks like what we want. And then on click. And for the on click, what, I, what do I want? I wanna say we need to keep track of if it's copied or not. We're gonna write the UUID first and then we're gonna set copied equals to true. So the navigator.clipboard is only supported in some browsers, not 
it, it won't be supported in everyone's browser. So we don't actually want to display or give the option to copy to the clipboard using this if this is not in their browser. We're only gonna show the clipboard if this is defined. If you don't have the clipboard, then you'll just have to click on the text and then Command C or Control C to copy the text. If it is copied, roll is a tooltip and the ID, copy UUID for the clipboard icon, I'm gonna have a area described by copy UUID. And what else do I need? I guess what I could do is have a label here and have this be screen reader only. Since we're in React land, we're gonna say HTML4 here. This seems to be what I need. And then we'll have to do some, some styling to this, of course. Let's check what this looks like. Beautiful. I don't want it to just say copied forever. I'm gonna have a timer with set timeout. And after, let's see what one second seems like. And let me just refresh. Oh, navigator is not defined. Navigator is not defined on the server. And this is uh, blowing up on the server. So what we need to do is similar to how we did with the UUID. We're gonna have some state. Show, show copy button, set show copy button. We're gonna show the copy button only if navigator.clipboard is undefined or yeah, is defined, sorry. We're gonna use our show copy button. And so we're only gonna show the copy button once this component mounts. Let me just refresh. Now we're happy and, and we can see that this is uh, showing copied. Another little bit of functionality that I would like to do in this UI is I want the user to be able to choose between V1, V3, V5, and nil. So I think what I'm gonna do is set these up as radio buttons. All right, so I'm gonna do this with headless UI. I'm gonna just import all of these. And then I'm gonna have a UUID function map. What this is gonna be is a map that maps the key V1 to the V1 function. This is a record, I think, of a string to a function that returns a string. For this to work, we need to give it a string and a namespace string. This is mapping the string so that its output is deterministic. And this is another salt that is being passed in to you know, further randomize it. So in order for V3 and V5 to work, we would wanna add another input where the user could input a, a string and then that could be the value that is hashed and, and, and created uh, you know, a deterministic UUID. I'm not gonna even worry about this yet. I'm just gonna make it so that when you click a button, it generates a UUID. So then now what I wanna do is set up my radio group and let's do that here. So we'll say version and then I'm gonna do my radio group. So radio group label the version and then we will uh, map through our keys. Yep, looking good. I think I liked the approach of not using the render props. I needed to download this this uh, headless UI plugin. Let me add in this plugin and we will add in in our Tailwind config. So this should give us access to the nice little prefixes, the little class name prefixes that we can style the different states of this thing. So. Um, so that seems good. And then we do wanna set some class names eventually. And then uh, we'll put in the plan here. I'll call this version, or maybe just V, because I don't wanna shadow the version that is declared in my React state. Okay, so now what I wanna do, set UUID. What I want here is UUID function map with the version and then call that function. I think what I want to do is uh, a constant default version. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it right here. It's gonna be a little bit of duplication, but 
that's okay. Here, I'm gonna have the default version. So this effect is setting the initial UUID, and then this is gonna generate all of the new UUIDs thereafter. Every time you hit the generate UUID button. I could probably just put in this into the same use effect. I think that's fine. All the markup should be structured the way we want it. So I'm gonna actually pause here. What I would wanna do next is just like do all the CSS and, and make it look cool. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an amazing holiday season. I'll catch you in the next one.